already. Uh, let's see. This is my DPMS Oracle. Looks nothing like when I bought it straight off the uh, the gun sh gun sh uh, store floor or rack, whatever. Um, let's talk a little bit about it. So I don't even remember the furniture that it had on it. I do know that straight out of the gate, whenever I left the uh, or before I left the the gun store, I put a quad rail on it. Um, and I put the night sights on it, or put not put the night sights, I put the Magpul flip up front and rear, I think they're Imbus, um, the sights on it, and uh, they've worked fine, I mean, you know, no problems with them, but I got the train in and immediately changed out all that crap, just because I didn't like the, the quad rail, I did not like the, uh, the, uh, Hell, I don't even remember. But it doesn't look the same. The only thing that's original to this gun is the lower receiver, the upper receiver, and bolt carrier, uh, bird cage up here at the front, um, the buffer tube, uh, castle nut, and uh, that's it. So front to back, or back to front, however you want to look at it. So I've got a, a Magpul, um, I think it's a six position, or it's a uh, Magpul CTR stock or something like that. Um, it's on the, the civilian uh, buffer tube. Um, I did notice, and you might here see it as well, um, I used to run my mag or my uh, butt stock in really really close and I did use a Dremel to cut that out a little bit because when I would run single point previously it would interfere and it would not allow it to um, now I mean I just run it one click out but when I was running it in all the way I beveled it out because uh, I wanted to have clearance um, the sling on this thing is uh, Special Operations Equipment. Um, it's their bungee. It was a single point sling, and I just kind of, I wouldn't say modified it, but I made it to where it's a two point. Uh, it connects up on the rail with a, uh, a Magpul. I think it's an HK mount. I don't know. Look it up like I did. Um, bolt carrier in this thing. This rifle is probably um, anywhere between five and six years old and the bolt carrier in this thing oh my goodness it has continued to run it's a civilian bolt carrier I think yes yeah, it's, it's not the full auto rated um, but man I mean it works either I don't know man I just I run it and it just keeps going um, again on the back I have you know, like my other rifle, I have a uh, Magpul ASAP or ASAP uh, base plate for a single point swivel um, just to keep it kind of uniform across. And because I used to run single point, I don't need more as much. So it's kind of one of those, why take it off when I might change my mind one again, you know, again one day and it's not hurting anything. So just leave it there. Um, charging handle. It's the uh, Bravo Company uh, Bravo Company. I think it's the medium. Uh, I really like it. Um, I think I like. I think I'm not saying for sure. But I like the Radian Raptor better. It used to be AXTS. My wife has one on hers that says AXTS, and it's the same thing. Uh, I guess one company sold or whatever. But I really like the. Uh, the fact that you can palm it if you need it. I can rack it off of stuff. With the A2 ones, I would get rid of those things. They're junk. But it's just my opinion. Take it for what it's worth. It might not be worth two cents. I don't know. But I really like these because doing our malfunction clearance is what we do. Uh, I mean, I've had to motor tube it 
and I've slipped off the A2 style and have not ever that I remember slipped off the uh, the Bravo company style. Uh, upper receiver is all DPMS. Um, lower receiver is DPMS. Uh, the handle, the uh, pistol grip, is the Bravo Gunfighter. I want to say it's the motto, but it's the one that's got the fatter, uh, fatter up top, and it's the less steep of a grip angle, unlike the A2 style. Uh, I put this uh, really, really cool Neato um, Magpul trigger guard extension on there because I thought I had to have it a while back and man I just haven't ever replaced it because it it's there it works I haven't had any complaints on it so why replace it I just put it on there because oh you wear you won't wear gloves okay it's supposed to give you more room I don't know I uh, haven't really noticed any any issues uh, lower parts kit is what came with the gun with the exception of the safety and the trigger. A couple years after that I um, was running this gun, maybe three years, I saved up enough money to buy a Geisley. So I bought a Geisley SSA. My other one has an SSAE, but this has an SSA in it, and I love them. Uh, I don't think I'll ever buy another trigger. Buy. If somebody gives me one, I might, you know, uh, review it, test it, but if I have to buy a trigger again, it's going to be a Geisley, the SSA or the SSAE. I might go with the SD3G or something like that where it's a flat face. That's just getting into preference, I guess, or at least trying something out. Um, the safety, again, just like the other one, it's a uh, Battle Arms Development Ambidextrous Safety Selector, so they call it the Badass Safety. Um, it's the... Uh, the short on one side and the uh, the full length on the other. Um, let's see. The rail moving forward. The rail is a Bravo Company key mod. Um, again, I don't really care about the argument. The key mod versus M lock. I just don't like the quad rail. So, I mean, the previous rail that I had on this gun and the other gun was. Troy Alpha Rail and the other one was a VTAC Alpha Rail and I like those but I like these better um, again with the Torx screws on this thing I'm not a fan of the Torx screws because when I lock tight something on there it's a pain in the butt to get off and they're kind of weak that little torque wrench that they give is weak with it however um, like I said in the previous video the, if you heat it up with a torch and loosen that Loctite it'll come off. I didn't learn that until after I've snapped, you know, a set and re had, you know, rebuy a new one. But um I don't think that that's their issue. I think it's just me being an idiot and not uh, uh not heating it up previously and just kind of, you know, meet it out. Um the barrel in this thing I can't remember because I don't care a whole lot but I think it's a Bravo company rail or a spikes tactical rail um, either way it has run very well uh, the gas system is a carbine length gas system the um, the low profile gas block I believe is the spikes uh, gas block and just a regular gas tube, I don't really know. It might have been from Bravo Company. Um, but the A2 birdcage on the front, uh, just because, like, in a class, you know, if we get a student that needs a rifle, I'll, you know, rent this one out, or I'll use it just to kind of keep uniform with the, the class flow or whatever. Um, that's it, man. And this one, I don't even know how many rounds this thing has on it, but that boat carrier... Uh, has surprised me because I didn't expect a whole lot out of it. I mean, I didn't know much about when I first bought this rifle um, I didn't know hardly anything about ARs as a matter of fact It's gonna sound stupid, but I never used to want an AR until I started learning about them and 
my mind changed and so I had a buddy go with me who knew more about it than I did and he recommended the DPMS Oracle. It was like 700 bucks when I bought it. Uh, but it's undergone a lot of changes. Um, so, let's see, what else? What else? Um, I used to, on this gun, have a bad lever, okay? Those gun guys will know what a bad lever is. Basically, it attaches to the uh, ping pong paddle um, or the uh, bolt catch slash bolt release. And it's designed to allow one-handed manipulation when locking the bolt to the rear or releasing the bolt to go forward uh, to pick up a round off the magazine. Um, but the problems that I personally had with it the uh, device worked as it was intended, sort of. Uh, it didn't break, so it was durable. Um, but it, I, I kept have running into a problem to where um, it would not lock, it would impede the gun locking to the rear when the magazine was empty on occasion. I don't know if it was a magazine issue um, I do know that I haven't bought any new magazines, or I've used those same magazines on my other rifles and on this same gun after pulling that device off, and it continues to lock it back like it's supposed to. So I'm going to say, based on that, that it was the bad lever that caused that. Um, but that's just me throwing something out there thinking that uh, that's probably what caused it. Um, I think it would be a, a good... I wouldn't say a good, uh, it's a good idea. I don't know how you could modify it to where a guarantee never does that, but nothing is ever a guarantee. So, um, anyway, custom paint job, man. Uh, it was rattle canned, rust -oleum. Uh, it's got a little bit of wear on it. I mean, just a little bit. Um, like I said, you know, we run our guns pretty hard, and, uh, I mean, golly, that paint looks almost brand new. Not. Anyway, uh, if you have any questions, I'll attempt to answer them, or I won't, and if you're an idiot, I'll just leave it up there, people make funny if you want. Uh, I think that's it. Y'all have a good one, and I'll catch you on the next one.